You must understand the following if you are interested to know the facts. Our mother Aisha, 1. She was already mentally super intelligent. Reached puberty tall, physically fit not only her but also people lived in those days. Everything was hands-on and no mechanical or electronic machinery to produce or perform things. It is worth noting that the leader of the Islamic army was 16 years of age as well and was appointed by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him to lead much older Muslim soldiers. 2. She consented to marry Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Like it or not, she said that. 3. She never ran away nor sided with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him enemies in any shape or form even after he passed away. 4. Her father Abu Bakr was wealthy, consented, and did not sell her. Never needed or wanted. 5. Before anything else, it is Almighty God Allah order for our mother, Aisha, to learn the religion and pass it on to the whole generations of Muslim women. 6. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him from the Qureshi tribe, and the Christians and Jews at the time never criticized him for marrying our mother Aisha at that young age. Because young men and women used to mature, especially mentally and physically, much more than nowadays, you can see someone at the age of 60 years of age, and mentally he behaves like 7 years old. 7. Pedophilia is a new term modern usually involves tricking and seducing young people with things to gain an advantage against their natural will. For your information, despite Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him had multiple wives. Multiple wives did not mean that there was intercourse with all of them. Some wives were old and just wanted to have the honor of being the wife of the Prophet. 9. Remember this post is titled Refutation of Accusations Towards Prophet Muhammad's Marriage which occurred 1,500 years ago. 10 years old in mind back then is equivalent to a much older and mature than 10 years of age nowadays. 10. There is no clear evidence or directive from the Noble Quran or authentic Sunnah equals traditions, including authentic statements or actions ordering Muslims to marry a 9-year-old girl at any time. Yes, we Muslims are instructed to follow Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Does that mean all Muslims have to live in Medina now, ride camels or horses, be sheep herders, or migrate from Mecca to Medina, etc.? 11. In the Bible Joseph 80 years old married Mary 12 years old, references the infancy gospel of James, chapter 8, 9, Epiphany Herias, 78, c. 8, 12. Jacob married Rachel. Rachel is first mentioned in the Hebrew Bible in Genesis chapter 29 when Jacob happens upon her as she is about to water her father's flock. Islam does tell us to consider current community standards. Show me any verses from the Noble Quran, any authentic Islamic recommendation, or orders to marry a 10 years old girl nowadays or even at any time before. Whoever imitates a people is one of them. Narrated by Abu Dawud, Ibn al-Qayyim said, It is not permissible for the Muslims to attend the festivals of the Mushraikin, according to the